Hi, I'm Keegan. This is the uh, energy bike system from Occupy Wall Street in New York City. I'm going to walk you through our electrical schematic so you can replicate this if you uh, have the resources. We started with a battery system for Occupy Wall Street because uh, they had turned off the grid in Zuccotti Park so we couldn't just offset our electricity use by going straight into an outlet, which is a more efficient way to do it and you don't have to use batteries. But we had to use batteries because we needed to power the park 24 hours a day and we couldn't be pedaling 24 hours a day. So we built this system uh, that we could move around the park that gave different working groups batteries, inverters, and DC outlets to, do, uh, to run every electrical uh, need that they had. So starting with the motor on the bike stand, you use a 24 volt motor and you run it through a one-way blocking diode. This uh, prevents the battery, which has charge, from powering the motor. Energy can only go from the motor to the battery. And then you go into a terminal board. The terminal board allows you to have two uh, bike generators hooked up to one battery, which gives you the exact perfect amount of amperage uh, in general to power a battery, about 15 amps. From the terminal board, we go inside the box. The box can be bought at any, any office supply store, really. It's just a storage box. Um, and we go through a fuse into a charge controller, and from the charge controller to the battery. Fairly simple. From the battery, uh, you go through another fuse right. before you go to the D DC outlet so that you don't burn up your wiring. From the battery, we, we go three places. We go to a watts up meter, an inverter, and a DC outlet. The inverter turns the DC power from your battery to the typical AC power that you have coming out of your, your wall outlets in your house. You can run anything uh, that you need to that you would plug into your wall on this. DC outlet is good for phones. Um, and, and things that run on DC power. So you don't have to go through the inverter and then back to DC power. Uh, it's very inefficient. So by giving it this, you can save yourself a lot of power, and this is all about efficiency, becoming sustainable. The watts up meter is a, is a very important feature. It allows you to see how full your battery is and how much you're charging and how, how, much, you're, how much power you're generating. So you always want this number, uh, the charge of the battery, to be about 13. Anytime it goes below 11, you need to swap out the battery. Uh, that's why we had these boxes uh, with the terminal blocks, because we could detach the bikes and easily move it, bring a new battery box in, and hook it up. Very simple, very user friendly. Basically, media was the only place that was ever discharging more than it was charging the batteries. So when they discharged the battery below 11, we could take it and we could swap it out with other working groups, such as Kitchen, which was just running one LED light, and thus generating a lot more electricity uh, than they were discharging. The batteries are deep cycle marine cell batteries. Uh, they, they lose charge very slowly. Uh, and, um, and they're pretty weather resistant. It's a marine cycle battery. And that's our, that's our battery box system. The Time's Up Energy Bike battery box system for Occupy Wall Street.